episode number four of Geek Speak with Envision IT, a podcast for business leaders and technology experts that like to stay on top of the latest security news and listen to interviews with insightful industry leaders. I'm Bill Crane, Chief Stakeholder Architect and CTO at Envision IT. Let's get started. I'd like to introduce Bo Smith back. He's the Chief Stakeholder Strategist and CEO here at Envision IT. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Bill. Um, so I think today we want to talk about next generation AV and also um, something new that we're hearing about called EDR. So maybe you could help us with what those mean. Yeah, I think to understand what both of those are, you need to first understand sort of the shortcomings of traditional antivirus. Uh, so most antivirus tools prior to a couple of years ago were all based on signatures. So an antivirus company had to actually receive the virus, analyze it, build a signature for it, and then release it in definition files out to the wild. So there's kind of a gap there in creation to detection. Yeah, there, well, there's a couple problems, I think. First, the virus has to be seen and analyzed, so it's literally ineffective against zero days or things that aren't patched regularly. Um, there are some viruses that don't actually operate as files, so we're starting to see that in a lot of phishing campaigns where they come in, and I think nearly 40% of attacks last year were fileless. Um, so antivirus can't even scan those in the traditional sense. Uh, they take a ton of resources, uh, so it usually slows down your systems quite a bit. Um, and I think what next-gen antivirus tries to do is really look at behavior uh, in addition to traditional signature-based files. So uh, a lot of the advanced persistent threats that are out there today are coming in, and they're using tools built within Windows to actually distribute malware. So they're using WMI, they're using um, GPO, they're using PSExec, tools that are commonly available. Okay. Uh, and antivirus, traditional antivirus just says, oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Six it's, a, match. it's a normal <clears throat> process that's happening. Or, right. Okay. So, so NextGen AV is really trying to get at what are these people doing? So it's looking at behavior, it's looking at baseline behavior for what a t user typically does versus what's happening. And it takes that and it says, is something a little out of whack? And then it can make actions on that. Beyond that, there's sort of this trend called, uh, for these tools called uh, EDRs or endpoint detection and response tools. What those try to do is uh, kind of look at different frameworks for attacks on how users uh, or how threat actors, you know, introduce persistence into their uh, into their attack, how they move laterally, et cetera. Uh, and it can actually look for uh, advanced analytics, behavior monitoring, and anomaly detection just to see uh, within those frameworks, like one example is the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Um, so are users doing something that's similar to what threat actors typically do? And what's really cool about the EDRs out there is you can actually visualize exactly what someone's doing. So if you think about an administrator with you know, hundreds of thousands of computers they're looking at, they have no idea what a user's doing. And even if someone says the machine was compromised, going back and trying to figure out what happened based on logs just isn't possible. What these EDRs allow you to do is actually visualize exactly what they did. Okay, they, they came in, they ran PowerShell, they executed this script, that connected to these uh, internet IP addresses and, and these servers and did these things. So you can actually visualize exactly what they're doing and then take action you know, really immediately on that. Wow, so it's kind of like what we've seen with SIM tools, but now down right to the PC. Yeah. And even better, right? I mean, just the detail it's caching sounds impressive. Right, and, and a good one will actually prevent it as it's happening. So it's not just alerting you and telling you, hey, this happened. It's saying, hey, uh, this was about to happen. Here's what we did to stop it. Okay. Oh, that's great. Um, are these now, you know, so it's kind of newer technology, but um, I, th I think we're already seeing these out in customer environments and production. So I, I think they're starting to mature already. Yeah, I would think so. The, we're seeing them a lot. Um, companies that are security focused have, have been adapting them for quite some time. So the ones we're seeing, we're seeing for EDRs, um, Endgame we've seen, Sentinel one we see, um, Carbon Black is out there. That's sort of a hybrid EDR and next gen AV. Uh, Silence is out there for, for next gen AV. So we, we've seen a number of these tools out there uh, and we've had really good experience in uh, integrating them onto the endpoints and even into Citrix. Yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of the decision we went through here too, is um, you know some of these tools work kind of in parallel with antivirus and some are starting to completely replace antivirus as well. Um, so I don't, I don't know what we, um, I don't know, I don't know way, the way that'll land. I, I, I picture it being that, you know, you'll have one tool and maybe replace your traditional AV, you know? Yeah, I, I think, you know, having that ability to 
you know, respond, do threat hunting, uh, but then also prevent in one tool on one pane of glass makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I think some of the EDRs that are just out there acting as EDRs will give you a great opportunity to do threat hunting. It'll show you threat actors are in there, but they won't do anything to stop it. Uh, and unless you've got a 24 seven sock in place, that isn't right. very helpful. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and as we know, some of these threat actors are, you know, they'll purposely do things after hours, weekends, holidays, um, which isn't very nice. But no, that's what they do. We, we always see that uptick around Christmas, <laughs> New Year's Eve, uh, Thanksgiving. We saw some. So if you look at, if you go look through the news, a lot of these attacks happen right around the holidays. Right. All right. Well, great. Um, well, this is a great topic and if people want to hear more, they can certainly reach out. Um, that's definitely a, a new new item coming out, and people should be thinking about it. Definitely. All right. Well, thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Thanks to all of you for joining today. If you have questions or any future topics you'd like us to cover, please be sure to connect with us via the link in the show notes. And if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to subscribe for free on whatever platform you listen to your podcast. We'll see you next time on Geek Speak with Admission IT.